Hello everyone, welcome to AWS Tutorials. In AWS Tutorials, we provide workshops and exercises to learn about AWS services. And these workshops and exercises are published to our website, aws-dozo.com. Today, I'm going to show one demo. And this demo is how to use Microsoft Power BI uh, desktop to create report with AWS Data Lake. So let's try to understand some of the building blocks required for uh, uh, this uh, scenario. Uh, so in order to implement this scenario, you need to have AWS Data Lake configured. Uh, and uh, I have already set up a data lake in this case, uh, but in case you are interested to know how to create a data lake inside AWS, I have already created a separate workshop for that. I am providing URL of that workshop in the description box uh, below. Uh, you can simply follow the instructions of that workshop to create a data lake of your own. Then you also need to have AWS Athena ODBC driver deployed on the machine where you want to create the report. Again, I'm going to provide a URL for um, uh, a URL for the page where you can download this driver. And then you also need to have Microsoft uh, Power BI desktop deployed on uh, the machine where you want to create the report. So once you have these three things in place, actually you can very well go and, and do the same thing what I'm going to demonstrate you in the uh, demo over here. So let's uh, move on to the demonstration. So first of all, this is the page where you can go and download uh, Amazon Athena uh, ODBC driver. Uh, it is available for various operating system with documentation and everything. Uh, I am providing a link to this URL in the description box below, so you can simply use that to download uh, the driver based on what operating system you have. Then, so assuming that uh, Athena, uh, your uh, ODBC driver is already deployed, and actually you can verify that. So if I uh, go and uh, search for, uh, for instance, ODBC, uh, and if I go to the ODBC data source administrator, go to system DSN and say, I want to add. If you see Simba, Simba Athena ODBC driver listed over here, that's a confirmation that you have got Athena ODBC driver deployed on your machine. Okay, so let's uh, keep it here for now. We'll use it later. Uh, let's go and see how we have created our data lake. So here is our data lake where we have created a database and, and that database is called simple database. Yeah, just to keep it simple. Then this database has got um, uh, two tables in the data lake. Uh, one is called sales, uh, second is customer, and these tables are um, uh, storing data in the CSV format into S3 locations. Okay, so we have done that. Uh, and uh, each of these uh, tables have uh, access permission uh, from the user account, which I'm using for this uh, demo. So for instance, if I select the table and say, hey, show me the permissions on uh, this table, you can see that this is my user account, which has got a select permission on this uh, table. Similarly, I have got select permissions on the customer's table as well. Now, if this is not making any sense to you at all, uh, then uh, yeah, obviously probably have not worked on data lake uh, earlier. Uh, so you might use my data lake uh, workshop URL to create a data lake uh, by your own. It's pretty straightforward. And, and yeah, simply follow the, the workshop I have created. So now uh, we have got uh, our uh, Athena ODBC driver deployed on my machine. My data lake is ready. I have permissions on the table. Uh, let's see how I can use this whole configuration to create a report inside Power BI Desktop. So first step is to go to the Athena ODBC, uh, uh, sorry, um, o, um, ODBC Data Source Administrator, and we want to create a system DSM. Uh, so we click on Add, then you see the Simba Athena ODBC driver here. Select that one, and it will ask for the data source name, and let's say it is Dozo Data Source. Yeah, keep it simple. Um, okay, region, this is Ireland, so I'll say EU. West one, okay. Uh, these are schema and work group for the Athena. Now Athena uses an uh, S3 location for the output queries uh, as an output. And what I have done is that I have created an S3 bucket, uh, which I can use for, um, which I can use for um, um, spitting out the uh, Athena uh, output. 
so this ODBC hyphen script uh, bucket I have already created. I'm simply uh, not putting uh, uh, that configuration over here. So once I have done the names and output location and the region uh, where I my my um, uh, my uh, data lake is, next is to set up the authentication. And there are a couple of choices you have for authentication. Uh, I'm going to show you three of them primarily, and one, in fact, I will use. Uh, so first one is ADFS. This is very important that uh, many people like uh, they want they will have um, like a single sign-on setup with uh, their uh, Microsoft Active Directory. In that case, you want to go for ADFS choice. Uh, in this case, you provide your uh, go for ADFS. You provide your username, password. Uh, and then your IDP host URL over here, and then you can use your uh, Windows authentication to access the data lake. Now, at the data lake level, when you are using single sign-on with uh, with uh, uh, with the with the uh, Active Directory user, then your Active Directory user is uh, is uh, assumes a role inside AWS, and the role which it assumes should have permission to the tables in the data lake. So like my user account I showed you, I have got a select permission on the table. Similarly, the role with the user you are going to use here, the, uh, that the user will assume a role in AWS, and that role in AWS should have permission to the table. Select permission on the table if you want to select. So this I'm not going to use here because I don't have single sign-on configured. Uh, if you're really interested to understand how single sign-on works, uh, please let me know. I'm happy to create another, another uh, demo or workshop for that. The second choice which I want to discuss here is called instance profile. So suppose you are running uh, your um, suppose you are running your um, uh, Power BI desktop out of an EC2 instance, and in that case you want to use the uh, the role of the EC2 instance uh, to access the data lake. Then you go for this choice. Uh, again, the role which you have assigned to the EC2 instance should have the permission on the tables in the data lake then only you can access it. But sometimes, yeah, people can go for this kind of choice. And the third choice I want to discuss and which I'm going to use for a demo over here is called IAM credentials. So in case of IAM credentials, actually you provide your uh, your um, uh, your access uh, key and uh, security security key uh, to authenticate. So you must have seen uh, brilliant brilliant DS uh, is my username uh, which I have access to the data lake tables. Uh, I what I did that I created uh, um, security credentials for uh, for that um, user ID. Uh, and then that is what I'm going to use here to authenticate. Again, I'm, I'm doing it this way because I, I don't have single sign-on and, and I, I'm not using AC2 instance, I'm using my personal laptop to access it. Uh, but yeah, you can choose the method you want uh, depending on what scenario you are using here. So let us uh, let me configure the, uh, the credentials here. So this is my uh, access key. Uh, for the user account which I have uh, used in, uh, uh, which, which has access to data lake. And then this here goes my uh, here goes my um, uh, security key um, um, to to the uh, to the user account, and then I can say fair enough. Let's say okay, and it's always a good idea to test it. So see that everything is configured properly. So click on the test button, and say it's successful. That means from this machine using these credentials. I am able to access my. Um, um, I'm able to access AWS, uh, and uh, I do have access to the. Um, I do have access to Data Lake. Uh, sorry, yeah, I may have. Sorry, um, not Data Lake, but I do have access to the AWS. Uh, we still have not gone and hit the Data Lake yet. Okay, so uh, let's say okay here, uh, and then simply say okay as well. So now your uh, DSN has been configured. It's a one-time job you have to do. Now we can go to the Power BI. So here goes my Power BI, um, Power BI desktop. Uh, and in this case, uh, I go and say, I want to get my data. Uh, so let's say more. And uh, click on others. I go for ODBC and I connect. Now it is showing me various options. So if you see that my Dozo data source is now listed over here as a, D, as a DSM, so I simply select that and say okay. And 
it is uh, asking me uh, yeah to uh, do that um, and give me login and password and when do first time it will do that say you know what i don't need this because i'm using my dsn based authentication so i can simply say use my default and and connect okay okay now i have got my uh, connection set up you can see here it is showing me uh, that i am using Do uh, dozo data source and if i go further over here uh, i can see my sample database i can see the two tables and these all are coming from data lake i say i am interested in for instance sales table at this point of time so yeah here onwards it's a it's a, it's a pretty straightforward uh, the kind of experience you get inside uh, uh, get inside um, uh, get, get inside uh, Power BI. So I simply select it here and say, okay, let's load this data. And I might want to make my window a little bigger here. Yeah, okay, let it load first. Then I can make my window a little bigger. Okay, taking some time. Okay, fair enough. So now I have got my uh, now I have got my um, data connected. You can see it's showing my sales table and it's showing my fields from the sales table. Here onwards is pretty straightforward. All I want is, for instance, let me create a pie chart here. So I can drag and drop the pie chart here. Oops. I'm not really guys uh, reporting guy here. I understand more data lake. Um, but then I can say, okay, let me see, can I see uh, my sales by product line? So here is my product line and here is my sales. Can I see the sales by product line? And, and if you can see here, I can, I can see uh, my, my, the sales by the product line. Um, and, and if you want to add more filter, for instance, can I see based on say, um, mm -hmm, can I do based on, uh, can I, yeah, status, can I add a status filter here? Yeah, you can see, uh, can I look at uh, on hold? Yeah, you can put filter on hold, it's nothing on hold looks like, but resolved, yeah, resolved, saved. Can I see that? Yeah, you can do that. So this was uh, pretty much to show you uh, how um, uh, you can, um, how you can use um, Power BI Desktop uh, uh, with um, Athena ODBC driver uh, to connect to AWS Data Lake and create reports, um, uh, create reports. Um, and that's all for today, guys. If you like the video, please click on the like button. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and please do visit our website, aws Dozo, where we provide um, Free uh, AWS, free AWS workshops and tutorials to learn about uh, the web services. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye bye.